everyone, and welcome to the Investor Meeting for Development Airlines. It's so nice to see you all here. You are all here to understand how development airlines work, and hopefully, if I do my job well, to invest in the next big thing in flying. See, development airlines isn't like a normal airline. It is in another Southwest or Alaska. Development Airlines is based on an old African folklore tale. And it is based on the idea from that tale that flying is a way of freeing people and freeing people to, so that they can be their true self. Now we took that idea and applied it to each individual flight. Development Airlines hopes that with each flight, the people on that airline will be able to free themselves from the limitations holding them back, from the limitations that are holding them back from being their true self. So our goal is that each person after taking a flight on Development Airlines becomes a better person or a more true to themselves person. Now, it may be easier to understand after you see it in action. So I'm gonna show you four different vlogs from people from the novel Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison, where each four people took a flight on development airlines and freed themselves from their limitations and became a more true person by the end of their journey. Take a watch. What's up guys? I just got pulled over and got a speeding ticket. This white dude in front of me, he didn't though. I swear, police in this town are so racist. It's getting so annoying, bro. This has happened to multiple people, not just me. It's getting bad, guys. As you could plainly see, the first video is of a young man named Guitar. Well, Guitar isn't held back by anything physical. As you could see in the video and in his anger in his voice, you can see how Guitar is held back by the world around him and the injustices that he sees in the world. Now, Guitar doesn't know how he feels he should deal with those injustices yet, but after he takes the flight he is about to board, you will see how his mentality completely changes, which is what shows you the magic of Development Airlines. What's up guys, it's Guitar. I'm going on my Development Airlines flight to follow my boy Milkman. I just went through TSA and I got checked, but this white guy in front of me, he literally had a gun and he didn't even get checked. Like this is some some beer racism going on right now. I'm so mad right now. What's up guys, it's Guitar. This dude from the seven days came up to me. He said he heard my vlog and he started talking some weird stuff about his radical organization and something about getting back at white people. It seemed a little too sketchy for me, but he was talking a bit of sense. Anyways, I'm gonna go get on my development airlines flight. As you can see, after he got off the plane, Guitar's mentality has completely shifted. He has completely shifted the way he views the injustices of the world. But this isn't Guitar's final mental state. The idea of development airlines is not that a person takes one flight and is magically cured. The idea is that the development a person needs to go through goes over, happens over multiple flights. And in this case, Guitar is going to board one more flight and you're going to see how he develops fully and lets go of all the shackles holding back him from what he believes is right. What's up guys, it's Guitar. I'm getting off my flight right now and I sat next to this dude from the seven days and you know what? I saw some special treatment on the plane and it really is getting me thinking that you know what? He was right. And but the only way to achieve equality is balancing the scales. What's up guys? I just got off of my second plane and I swear to God, bro, Milkman took the gold. I need the gold so I can use it for the seven days and blow up the children. I swear to God, Milkman is Well, now you have seen the full story of Guitar and should understand how development airlines affected his mentality. As you could see, at the beginning of Guitar's story, he was held back by the racial inequities and injustices that he saw in the world. And the reason he was held back was because he didn't really know what to do about it. But via development airlines and via our flight, he learned exactly how he felt was the right 
thing to do to solve these racial inequities. Now, we at Development Airlines don't bring someone to do the exact right thing every time. So while we do not condone Guitar's actions, those actions were the best thing for him as a person. And our airline is what allowed him to free himself of everything holding him back. And like the African folklore we based our company off of, he is now able to fly proverbially and physically in the sense that he took a flight and is now flying proverbially in that he has freed himself from everything that is holding him back from being who he wants to be. Hey y'all, it's Hagar and I just spent the whole night with Milkman, uh, best night ever, but he told me he's going on an airplane flight, so I need to figure out exactly where he's going. Hey y'all, it's Hagar again. And so basically I follow him to the airport and we're gonna get on a destination flight and we're gonna follow him to see where he's going because I need to know everything. <laughs> now, as you can see from those last vlogs, this young girl, young Hagar is being held back, not by anything physical, but by herself and her own emotions. She's being held back by being tied to this young man, Milkman, and believing that he is her everything, and therefore she must follow him and devote her life to him. Now she is about to board a flight for Development Airlines, and you will see in the next few vlogs how her story develops and how we help her free herself from what is clearly tormenting her and causing her life to go down the wrong path. Okay, so I'm in the airport now, and I was following Milkman, and he definitely did not see me. And I saw him looking at all these different things, so I'm gonna go buy it for him right now. Yay! Hi guys, so I just realized that this is not really great, um, a great outfit for Milkman to see me in, because I saw him looking at this magazine of this gorgeous girl who had perfectly straight, gorgeous hair and her makeup was all done and her jewelry was perfect. So I need to buy all these clothes right now because he cannot love anyone else but me. Okay, so I just got on my flight. I'm really excited. I can't wait to see Milkman because he's all mine. And if he sits next to a girl on this flight, I'm going to be livid. I'm gonna kill her. I'm on my flight and I can't find Milkman anywhere. I think I'm on the wrong flight, but I'm not really sure. And I can't even see him like this. Someone spilled water all over me and it's all over my clothes and in my hair and my makeup is dripping everywhere. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. He can't see me like this. No one can see me like this. I look awful. Oh my God. Now. Unfortunately, we can't show you the rest of the video because of what happened to the aircraft. We at, the vet, we at Development Airlines do not always take the most conventional route to freeing our passengers from their shackles. But in this case, Hagar was being weighed down by her devotion to Milkman and her need to constantly feel his love and his admiration. Now, this is clearly not healthy for anyone. So, in the spirit of the folklore our airline was based off of, the only way for Hagar to truly free herself from these feelings is to never see Milkman again. But the only way for Hagar to truly never see Milkman again is to unfortunately die, which is what we at Development Airlines did in order to free her from her shackles. So while we do not believe death is good nor the right path for everyone, in this case, this was the only way to free Hagar from what was holding her back. And now she is free to be at peace, which is what Development Airlines tries to give each one of our passengers via flight and via the proverbial flight that was mentioned in the African folklore we based our company on. Farewell guys, Robert Smith here. I'm just here to let you all know that I am joining the seven days due to all the inequalities that my people have faced throughout our lives. And I'm just really doing it to help out my community and my people just because the world is just so unfair. Okay, Robert Smith back here again. I just wanted to let you guys know that I killed my first person and I got assigned the day Sunday. So I'm really happy that I got the courage and the confidence to kill this person 
just because I feel like I'm helping out my community so much and helping out my people and the inequalities that we face. Okay guys, Robert Smith here and I'm facing a dilemma guys because I was just boarding my destination airlines flight and all my stuff fell out of my bag and this group of white men helped to pick it up and gave it back to me and they were super nice and everything and now I'm regretting my choice of joining the seven days just because these people were so nice to me and now I don't know maybe not all white people are bad hey guys Robert Smith here again I've I'm starting to think that I made a huge mistake because joining the seven days might not be right for what I want to achieve. I want equality and I don't know if this is the right way to do it just because that white man was so nice to me. He helped me pick up all my stuff and now I'm thinking, what if I'm killing innocent people? As you can see, Robert Smith is almost the antithesis to Guitar that we watched a vlog from before. Now, Robert Smith started out believing that the seven days was the right path and was the right thing to fix the racial injustices that he saw in the world and has slowly be come to believe that the seven days is not the right solution. Now, before he boards his development airlines flight, he is being held down not by the seven days and not by the racial injustices in the world. What is truly holding Robert Smith down is the guilt he feels over what he has done and what he has done in the name of the seven days in the sense that he now believes those actions to be wrong and not what is going to help fix the world and fix the racial injustices that he sees. And so he is boarding a development airlines flight to try to escape those feelings and try to escape what he has done. So watch the next vlog and see how development airlines helps free him from those, from the feelings of guilt guys robert here i'm becoming over overwhelmed by guilt and i just i can't do it anymore the seven days is not right what if i murdered an innocent person seven days is not right and i need to stop and i'm just being overcome by guilt and i just Unfortunately, Robert Smith met a similar end to Hagar, but similarly to Hagar, this was the only way for Robert Smith to be freed from the shackles that were holding him back from truly being at peace. Now, for those of you who don't know the folklore that Development Airlines is based on, the idea behind the story and the idea behind flight that we applied to Development Airlines is that African Americans who used to live in Africa had the ability to fly, this magic ability to fly, but they lost that when they were unfortunately enslaved in the Americas. But some retained the ability and used that ability to fly back to Africa, where it was understood that they would be living their true life, be at peace and be happy with their lives. So our flights and the flights that were passed down through the African American community are not always perfect. They are not always a happy ending, but they do free people from what is holding them back from being happy and being at peace with themselves and the world around them. So for people like Hagar and Smith in the story Song of Solomon, they were being held back by an attachment to a person and the guilt for what they had done. And in those two cases, the best route was unfortunately to leave this world to, in, to attempt to find peace with themselves and put those things behind them. Hey guys, it's Milkman. I'm about to board a Destination Airlines flight. I'm heading to Miami. I'm really excited to see all the women, all the money, all the stuff there. Um, my dad is letting me go to Miami. He's paying for my entire trip. I really wanna see all the women. As you can see, that first video clip is from Milkman, 
and he is going to Miami. He isn't necessarily sure why he's looking for the gold. He's kind of just going through the motions of things without truly understanding what everything means to him. And he isn't really able to be his own person and find who he wants to be. His father is funding his own journey. He's not independent from his family yet. And he's just focused on the pleasures that Miami has rather than the other more important parts of life. He's just focused on finding pleasures and having fun and all of that rather than many other important things. Hey guys, it's me, Milk, again. I just talked to this really interesting person on my flight talking about how he's going to Miami to, to see his family. And I kind of realized I don't really know who my family is. I've been just searching for other things. I need to figure out who my family is, where my grandfather came from, and why Pi Pilot and my dad are so mad at each other. During his flight, Milkman finds that maybe he can become his own independent person, and breaking free from his father could be very beneficial to him and how he feels. And so he's kind of starting to develop further and further and decides that maybe he's going to venture into Florida to search for what he needs in order to kind of break free and be his own person. And that's going to be really important to his development as a whole. Hey guys, it's Milk again. I need to find a business venture to make sure my dad can't control where I'm going around trying to find my figure out what's going on with my family. I'm here in the airport. I really need to find something to make money so my dad can't control me. I found something, but it's gonna need another flight. So I'm about to get on another Destination Airlines flight to find money. So at this point, Milkman has gotten off the plane and he's really searching for his new business venture. And like um, other characters, he realizes that he's probably going to need to take another flight because this is not a one flight solution, one flight fixes all type of thing. Sometimes people need to take multiple flights to really develop and figure out what they are. And so for Milkman, he really feels that taking this second flight is going to help him develop further and really figure out what he needs from life and what it has to offer and who he's going to be. Guys, you're never going to believe this. I read this pamphlet in the back of the seat in front of me about Shalimar and it mentioned my family. It mentioned my grandfather. Apparently he could fly. I cannot believe this. This is everything I've been looking for. I finally found what it means to be making dead. So on this second flight, Milkman, he's reading a pamphlet about Shalimar and his family. He understands where his family from is com comes from, and he realizes how important that is to finding out who he is, who he wants to be, where his life is kind of going. And this is like his last little bit of development. It also helps to change his mood. He feels like maybe he's missing something. And this is maybe the piece that he is missing being able to connect with his family on a deeper level on a better level and really figuring out where he came from who he plans on being is maybe him reconnecting with part of his family because he feels there might be a disconnect you can see that the plane has landed and everything's kind of been moving towards this moment where Milkman has come through a lot of developments and realized how important his family is and understanding where his family came from and how important that is to him figuring out who he is on the inside and also figuring out how to be independent from his family and make his own life in his own name and how important that is to him. And in this moment, he's throwing his father's ashes into the sea, obviously after his father has passed away. And he's really just kind of connecting on a different level. And it's like a full circle moment where he's accepted his family and kind of his past. And he's really realizing what he needs to do in his future and what works best. And really just talks about how there's multiple flights and... This, his motivation is changing each flight and he's growing and developing and becoming a new person. And that is the whole point of this airline. 
so after watching these four wonderful vlogs you can really just see how impactful and powerful each of these flights are for the characters and how it really allows for them to change and develop for the better and become better versions of their true selves as well as become free and break free from whatever is constraining them whether it is their own self or maybe other people in their lives or some com or some combination of the both and really just how it relates back to even the African folktale we learned about where they're just becoming free people and this airline development airlines really just helps better their lives and each flight is causing a strong development in the character and it's just a big step for them and it's really really important and I think they these vlogs really just emphasize how amazing development airlines is and how these characters develop and become more free